Alrighty, hello. So we are today going to go over how to annotate a poem. So, and not annotating basically means analyzing a poem. So I, you have this sheet as well. So your poetry analysis, this is a poetry analysis number one. Hold on, let me get my marker upper. Perfect. Okay, so number one, and of course the title is How to Eat a Poem by Eve Merriam. All right, so when we are analyzing a poem, we actually watch this video at the beginning of the quarter. So the first thing we're gonna do is read to experience the poem. Just read it through. How to Eat a Poem by Eve Merriam. Don't be polite. Bite in. Pick it up with your fingers and lick the juice that may run down your chin. It is ready and ripe now, whenever you are. You do not need a knife or fork or spoon or plate or napkin or tablecloth, for there is no core or stem or rind or pit or seed or skin to throw away. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is read it again to notice we're going to write draw underline circle on the poem so first thing i want to look for is literary devices so some of the devices that i notice right away are all of these ors or 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 so remember starting all of these lines with the same word is called anaphora or right? I also see some alliteration. So alliteration is here. Uh, you do not need a knife. You do not need a knife. So that's this repeated N sound. Alliteration. Uh, what else? Don't be polite. Bite in. Pick it up with your fingers and lick the juice that may run down your chin. I don't know about you, but when I eat something that's juicy and the juice licks, or sorry, runs down my chin, that is such, like, I know how that feels, right? So that's actually imagery. And remember, imagery can be any of the five senses. So for this... I think I know how it feels to have that juice drip down my chin. So that's going to be my, my touch or feel sense. And it's also the taste sense. Because, of course, that juice is always so sweet. Um, let's see. For there is no core or stem to throw. I think that's... Um, Hmm. Or napkin or tablecloth for there is no core. Yeah, I think that's it for like the main literary devices. So I'm going to go back over here to number two. Um, now I want to look at the mood. So the mood of the poem is how the reader feels. So how do you think the reader is meant to feel with this poem? I see some pretty forceful language here. Don't be polite, bite in, pick it up with your fingers. So these are all very commanding, right? So this commanding language might be giving me some courage. Maybe I am going to be empowered to read poetry or to dig into poetry and understand it. And the form, the form of this poem is, let's see, it's one, two, three, four stanzas, but they're all different lengths, right? So uh, form, whoops, four stanzas of differing lengths. Um, I also noticed that there's like some of the first letters are capitalized and some of them are not. So I'm just going to make a note of that differing 
capitalization. Oh, you know what else too? We have an epistrophe here. So that's one of the things we're learning this week. Um, so this sentence continues. This is a deliberate line break. So they deliberately put the rest of the sentence down on this line. So pick it up with your fingers and lick the juice that may run down your chin. So this is an epistrophe. Oh my gosh, it's not epistrophe. What am I talking about? Let me get rid of that. It's enjambment. Enjambment. Deliberate line breaks. Okay, um, so number two, finished. Now, number three, what is the poem's overall message or theme? So it sounds like the speaker here is comparing a poem to a fruit. Is that right? So that would mean that this entire poem is an extended metaphor. Extended metaphor comparing um, reading a poem, reading a poem to eating fruit. Okay, interesting. So because of that metaphor, it's saying that when you read a poem, you really need to like devour it, right? Just get right in there, get messy and experience it. So I'm gonna say that the poem's overall message is to Dig into poetry. Don't be afraid to get messy. And by get messy, that's the fruit part, right? But when I, I interpret that as don't be afraid to get like deep, deep or even emotional in poetry. And the f number four is your thoughts. So what is your favorite line and why? So you're just gonna have a different, a different favorite line here. My favorite line is this one right here. Um, pick up, pick it up with your fingers and lick the juice that may run down your chin. So I'm gonna put that here in quotation marks, of course. Pick it up with your fingers and lick, whoops, lick, hang on, lick the juice. And I don't have to actually write out the whole thing. I'm just going to put three dots. And why do I love that? Because I know how that feels. Very cool, right? All right. That is how to dissect or annotate a poem. <laughs>